Now to think I was going to take those um, broad beans out the other week, about two weeks ago. I'm going to whip them out. But there's plenty more come on, and there's more flowers coming on, them, as you can see. So that would have been daft, wouldn't it? I'm going to take them tonight and eat them. Tomorrow, probably. Because there's about a meal's worth. I'm looking at it, there's about ten. There's about five in each, so even about 50 broad beans there. I'm talking quiet because I'm, uh, I'm down on my own, but there's a few people knocking about. Got an head coming on that. On that little uh, broccoli there, inside there. I don't know if you can see it. Well, there's an head. There is a head coming on it. Talking very quiet. <laughs> right. So I've cleared that top path as well now. It's got a bit of stuff I've got to put in the uh, wheelbarrow and take it up to the top. And uh, that's going to get the, mem the membrane down on it. And that's going to have the stone on it, that. the pea gravel on that bit because it looks nicer. Remember that uh, on the last night um, we did the, the pathway here all the way down. That's just rough because it's on the sides. Um, these potatoes are coming close to getting pulled up. We did actually pull some potatoes up yesterday. We did a bucket, uh, but I didn't film it, unfortunately. Because we've got a few. We've got about um, 17, 18 little spuds out of it, probably about that size. Um, between that, baby ones, and probably that. And... Um, and there were the uh, Charlotte potatoes. We just did one of the buckets. And I only half filled the bucket, to be honest with you. One of those uh, quite large buckets. It's like quite large. This is dead professional, isn't it? I'm going off on a tangent again. Um, yeah, let's get one. That one. So, yeah, that size of bucket. A planter. Same as that. That's getting ready for coming out as well. But as you can see there, it's probably, I bet it's not even half full. I was a daft get. Um, but yeah, we've got about 17, 18 spuds out of it. A varying size, enough for a couple of meals for us, not really that, because the kids only eat one or two spuds and we'll have about three or four each. So yeah, a couple of meals worth out of a, out of a bucket. If I'd done it properly and filled it and put the right uh, nutrients inside it, I would have been even better. We'd have done even better. And, um, yeah, he lives and learns, doesn't he? Just something new, we just threw them in. We had a couple of spuds, they were just shop-bought uh, Charlottes. So that's what's gone in all of them buckets down there. That's all we've got in it. Peppers are in there, these need watering. I'm going to water these up. I've not had a chance to come down properly, but I'm going to water them up because there's quite a few peppers on there, chilli peppers. And I'm going to be putting these babies in as well. Probably tomorrow. So there's the spinach, the lettuce, the beetroot. Some more of that's coming in, going in. Take some of my onions as well. And sweet potatoes. They seem to be uh, doing all right. Something's getting at them. I took a a pack joy. Just for us a sec. That one. Now if that hadn't have been mithered by the raindrops. These were all the raindrops that were dripped through here when we had a shower, a couple of showers when it was red hot. They've dripped down onto the leaves and they've acted like little lenses and burnt holes all through it. Look at that. It's like cheesecloth. But uh, it'll all juice up that. They'll juice up them leaves and use the stalks in, uh, in our stir fries. Still use it. There's loads of it. There's tons of it. Absolutely tons. But like I say, it's a shame the leaves have, um, have been attacked by it. Yeah, so I took a few of those broad beans off and uh, they're in there with the toms. We've got toms, we've got sun gold, we've got um, sweet million, I think, or something like that in there. These are the ones that haven't got uh, blossom end rot. So, because um, I've been plagued with that. And as Tasha will tell you, um, it's lack of calcium that's caused it. So next year, we're going to amend that and get that sorted out for definite. I'll get a, a proper tomato set up. I'm going to watch Tony O'Neill at UK Here We Grow. 
and some of the other boys, allotment diggers, people like that, they do well with the tomatoes. And I'm going to try and pick up some tips. And yeah, that's the beginnings of uh, tomorrow's stir fry. Got three onions up at the top and um, the pak choy that I took out. Pak choy, bok choy, tomato, tomato, whatever you want to call it. What do you think, ladies? Rubbish! So yeah, just popped down for an hour tonight, just for a chill out. It's uh, properly peaceful, everybody's gone now. A couple of people on before from across. I don't know their names. Nice couple, but no idea what their names are. What the names are. And uh, toothless again. I'm so uncouth. Um, yeah. So I've got some quick croppers. That I'm going to be sticking in. I've got some beetroot, I've got some lettuce, as you saw up at the top there, and some spinach. And that's just going to fill in uh, a few gaps. And the rest of the stuff, when I do take it out, because all that pack choy is ready for coming out in this bottom bed. The beetroot's coming along that I planted in about a month ago. So that's not going to be far away. Um, the leeks, got two lots of leeks on the go. They're going to be staying in. The kale, which is the uh, Nero. I keep forgetting what it's called. Nero de Tosca Kale That's just going to carry on now and get that through winter. It'll grow in winter kale So we're going to leave that in but we've got lots and lots of like red cabbage and stonehead cabbage um, Different types of cabbage. I'm going to be um, Looking into what I can uh, what, what, what else I can stick in for winter um, maybe looking to put in some chard in. I think chard does well, doesn't it? Through um, through the winter months, and you can get you can keep chard on the go. God, the pigeons are having a right good time in them trees over there. It's dead peaceful, really peaceful. Really peaceful, um, and it's just ace. It's just like chilled out and quiet. So I've come down here, as I say, only coming, only, only coming down for an hour because I've got to get some nappies, pampas pull-ups, size 6, for um, the mini digger. Because he's down to his last two. So i better get a shaker. The road is bum uh, operates. And um, yeah, so that's it. Just a quick one tonight. Bit of a mooch round. A little bit of cropping tonight. Bit of harvesting. Excuse me. I've been eating uh, tomatoes, I must have had about 12 tomatoes while I've been down here. Those um, sun gold, you were right about those sun gold, Tony, they're lovely, absolutely beautiful. But yeah, as I say, I've had a lot of trouble with blossom end rot. I might show you that tomorrow, there's a load of tomatoes on them. Some of them are really good looking tomatoes when, you look at, when you're looking down on them. And then you lift the bums up and uh, you know, prolapse. So I'll leave you with the sunset. Hope you're having a nice week so far. It's only Monday, I know, but uh, I hope you're having a nice one anyway. Got a lovely sunset again. I hope that's coming outside. Right? There it is. Silhouetted against the trees. Beautiful. All right. Good night, everybody. Sleep tight. And mind the red bugs don't bite. <laughs>